Tonight, two bills working their way through the Florida House and Senate could pump the brakes on electric vehicle charging stations and ban the ability for cities and counties to institute regulations of their own. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst breaks down the impact for electric and hybrid vehicle owners. Bill 1084 and House Bill 1071 are both massive pieces of legislation, each about 80 pages long and could change lots of Florida law, including a ban on fake meat like impossible burgers. But that's a story for a different day. Now, the first provision in this pending legislation would ban local county and city ability to tell developers how many electric vehicle charging stations there should be. It's part of a larger trend by Florida lawmakers to preempt local control. So would this um, preemption prevent a city from saying where the EV charging stations could be located? Uh, where it could be located? Mm -hmm. Yes. Both the House and Senate are debating who should control the build out of EV charging infrastructure. Several cities in Florida, including Largo, have ordinances in place that prescribe how many EV spaces must be made for new parking lots, thinking developers might not do it on their own. Adding a charger to a you know 350 unit building or a 600 unit hotel uh, gets really complicated. Power Design in St. Pete is one of the largest installers of EV charging stations in the country. Energy manager Mike Kuhn says installing them early saves a lot more money than having to do it later when more tenants demand it. I think having a, you know, a base level is definitely a smart idea. You know, these EV adoptions not slowing down and it's not going to go anywhere. So then the real question may be just who gets to decide. And when we have a patchwork in different counties, that um, actually affects whether we can grow this market or we're, or we're going to stifle it through uh, regulation. One set of rules, and that's going to be under FDAX. Even if the bill were to pass and localities can't mandate a certain number of spaces, newly adopted Florida Building Code does require that for every new parking lot with more than 25 spaces, there have to be at least two EV-capable charging stations. In St. Petersburg, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. Both versions of the legislation will be heard by the House and Senate Appropriations Committees later this week.